Welcome to the Hemophilia of Georgia Center for Bleeding and Clotting Disorders of Emory. The pediatric team has been preparing you to transition to the adult clinic here at Emory Midtown. We know that change can be scary. Our goal is to make this process as simple and comfortable as possible for you and your family. In this video, you'll hear from young adults and their families about their experiences advancing from pediatric to adult care. You'll also find out what to expect at your first adult clinic visit. We appreciate the opportunity to help you manage your bleeding disorder so you can focus on living your best life. I think I fully understood what my diagnosis was when I turned around 15. Those years were, I guess, the toughest, you know, going through puberty, starting to become more adult-like in a sense. So I think that's when I realized, you know what, I have hemophilia, this is my life. I have to come to terms with it, but I'm not gonna let it be the defining factor of who I am as a person. I felt that I was prepared for the transition just because my mom, one, made me be a little bit more independent. She asked me to start ordering my medicine very early, like before college. And also the preparation before leaving children's, they make sure you know, okay, you're going to the adult clinic. It will be different. It will not look the same. It's in a different building. You may see different faces, but everyone was still warm and welcoming, so that was definitely nice to know. I feel very confident in managing my care because I was for, raised from a very young age to understand that eventually I was gonna to get to this point. And since my parents have taught me how to administer my medication, to listen to the doctors, to order my medication, and to take stock of everything I have to do, at this point, I'm completely prepared. You should contact the treatment center for any issues with your bleeding disorder. So if you have a question about what product you need to take, how much you need to take, if you are injured, if you feel like you need to go to the emergency room, if you ever become hospitalized, if you need a travel letter, if you need a diagnosis letter, or if you need someone to just talk to someone else about your bleeding disorder, you can reach out to us and we'll be happy to help. The adult clinic is set up just like the pediatric clinic, using a multidisciplinary approach. Consider the treatment center your team. Each staff member focuses on your well-being a little differently to help you live and thrive. Our physicians and nurse practitioner work as a team too. If you prefer to see the same medical provider each time, let us know so that we can do our best to make that happen. Let's focus on your next step, your first adult clinic appointment. Jot down anything you want to talk about ahead of time and bring the list with you. Feel free to bring a parent or family member if you feel more comfortable. During the appointment, you'll answer some questions on paper about your bleeding disorder and your health. We'll talk about your personal goals and priorities. You'll have labs drawn and you'll meet the members of the team. I think my main advice that I would give people that are transitioning from pediatrics to adults would be go in with an open mind. Don't be afraid, you know. They're here to help you understand what you have better and how to take better care of yourself moving forward in your life. Because once you come to adults, you're no longer a kid. You're starting to understand that you have responsibilities. You're gonna start working, you're gonna start going to school, you're gonna start making movements in your life that you wouldn't be making when you're in the pediatric clinic. So here, what they're helping with is you becoming an adult and you understanding how to take better care of yourself so that you have a better future. I think you have to start the fostering of independence at birth. I mean, really from day one before they know how to do anything, before he could walk, before he could even know what hemophilia was. It was a matter of uh, my husband Nick and I having the mindset that our goal is for him to be where he is now, where he can manage this on his own. So in our house that looked like needles were normal. This is a disease, it's not your entire life. Having that sense of this is one thing about you, it's not all of you. So then you can master the idea that I can handle it because everybody around me is handling it. It takes time to develop the confidence and skills to manage healthcare on your own. The Treatment Center staff is here to help you get the care that you need. We'll help you learn to navigate the healthcare system, and we'll communicate with your other providers about how your bleeding disorder can affect aspects of your health. The Hemophilia of Georgia Center for Bleeding and Clotting Disorders of Emory 
earned certification as a patient-centered specialty practice. What that means is the team focuses on coordinating treatment across all of your healthcare providers to ensure that you receive the best care possible. My experience here at the adult clinic has been amazing so far. I mean, the relationships I've formed with the doctors, with the nurses, with the staff has been outstanding. Everyone's welcoming. They're so warm when I come here. They want to know, how are my friends doing? What am I doing with my life? They actually care about me as a person. They want to be my friend rather than just being a patient here. So I love that. As a woman with a bleeding disorder, my concerns are future childbirth. Um, I'm a little nervous as to whether my child will inherit a bleeding disorder, but I do ask my doctors questions frequently and they make sure they secure me with answers and let me know that it's multiple tests that they can do to ensure that my child is okay and my health is okay during the birth process. I would tell any parents to a child that is moving from the child clinic to the adult clinic which is now a young adult to really think about from the very beginning, uh, treating them as an adult in that clinic, making sure that they can voice their, their diagnosis from a very early age to tell the doctors what's going on with their body so that when they get to the adult level, it's natural, it's, they know what to say, they're comfortable with the, being in the doctor's office, they're comfortable with saying their personal health to someone who can really help them and guide them along as an independent adult. It's very difficult for parents to allow their kids to have some responsibility in managing their care. But like I explained to parents, put some onus on the child so that they know that their parents trust them and that they will allow them to um, manage their health care independently. When transitioning from pediatric to adult care, I would just tell you to relax. It is okay. Everyone is nice, warm and welcoming. Um, if you have questions, ask as many as possible. Never walk away confused. And everyone is always a phone call away. I see transition as a marathon and not a sprint. So as long as people are making slow and steady progress in the right direction and feeling good about the progress that they're making and how they're doing in their aspects of their healthcare, we'll work with you so that you feel more comfortable and confident. For any questions concerning the scheduling of your appointment, contact the Hemophilia of Georgia Center for Bleeding and Clotting Disorders of Emory at 404-778-7062.